Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I want to uh, just cover out this. So, uh, what I'm doing is working on creating a new fume extraction system for my CO2 laser. And I used uh, my OpenSCAD code to create this flange on the uh, CR10. Now, this is the first time I've done something like this on the CR10, and it came out really nice. So tell you what, let's go over, take a look at the time lapse of this printing, and then we'll meet back at the bench. So let's head over to the time lapse. Okay, welcome back. So we watched a time lapse of this being printed and it still really amazes me how this prints with no supports and this slope prints basically in midair. Uh, the quality of this came out really nice. I, I'm, I'm impressed. There's a couple little anomalies in the way I think the slicer sliced it where it kept repeating up here close to the top. Uh, but all in all, I think it came out really good. I'm going to reinforce this with a little bit of epoxy coating on the inside like I did the other one. The other piece is you notice I printed with a brim because there's such a small surface area here I didn't want to want it letting go or, or warping as it was printing so I did use a brim. The other piece with the brim that does is a little bit of a design advantage too because this is meant to slip over a lip about this size and I didn't clean up the brim too much and what happens is when I slip this over the laser and when I actually assemble all this I, I'll kind of show this a little bit more how it all goes together but I'm more so just talking about how I designed the piece and 3D printed it, um, it provides a very nice snug fit over there. So, because I did this a little bit larger, anticipating contraction, which I did get, um, and again, works out really nice. Now, the idea of this top flange, what happens if I bring this into picture, is I have this marine hose that I want to put over top of it. So, this is meant for uh, marine ventilation, and so. What happens is this just slides over the top, and then what I'll do is I use some zip strips to hold it in place, and voila, I have my duct going into my um, compressor, uh, you know, to draw the fumes out. So this actually came out pretty good. Again, I was really impressed with the Creality, how, how it printed this, and the quality. Again, I'm going to use some either X3D or epoxy, basically, to kind of tighten this up. Because I don't know if you can see, I get, do have a little bit of uh, a layering and striations in here, uh, you know, which I do tend to get out of PLA on the um, the CR10. Now, probably thinking aloud to myself, I should have went with, and I should probably for something like this, because you can kind of see some of the voids here. Maybe I don't know if I can get, uh, see if I can zoom in like right there. Uh, probably going with about a one one hundred and two percent. Flow rate, uh, you know, might do a little bit better job, uh, kind of filling in and giving a little bit better layer adhesion for where I'm going to have things that torque on this. And again, one of the reasons I didn't want to go too deep on this collar here, nor this collar, is I really didn't want a lot of torque. I want the hose in this case uh, to take a lot of torque. So that's kind of some of the design concepts I wanted to share. So I'm looking forward to getting this thing going. And again, as I get the whole laser thing set up, I'll share that with you guys. But I wanted to kind of cover out this piece, printing it on the CR10 and some of my design considerations, because maybe you're designing something and uh, this helps you out. So if it did, hey, give it a thumbs up. If you found it interesting, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're just going to lunch, give it a thumbs up. Just give it a thumbs up anyway. Don't forget the subscribe button. Swag shop up there. Holiday seasons are coming. Make every day a holiday. Buy something for yourself. And hey, we'll see all you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all.